Okay. For the past year, I've been pondering this question. What good can come from a photo? I've been fascinated by the idea that a person can look at a still image of a moment frozen in time, like Ansel Adams' photo of the Grand Tetons, and be inspired to take an action that results in real, tangible good. Now, I know iconic pictures often leave a viewer with a sense of awe, like this one of the aftermath of 9-11, but I wanted to find out if a photo could move someone beyond wonder and actually inspire them to take positive action. So to satisfy my curiosity, I decided to do my own research to see if I could find some examples. My beginning research brought me to some well-known portraits. First was Dorothea Lange's 1936 photo of a migrant mother struggling to survive in the heart of the Great Depression. The woman's worried and vacant expression helped to convince the public and the government to come to the aid of the struggling migrant workers. Next, I came to photographer Steve McCurry's portrait of a young Afghan refugee with piercing green eyes. When her photo ran on the cover of National Geographic, the world was moved. People volunteered to work in refugee camps, and many chose to donate money, which resulted in the building of a school in her village. The third portrait is one that elected a president. Matthew Brady's 1861 photo of Abraham Lincoln softened the great man's image by making him appear more likable. Brady removed Lincoln's deep facial furrows and raised his collar to make his neck look a little bit shorter. The portrait swayed a nation and helped to elect one of our greatest presidents. I also discovered a few examples that led to advancements in equality. In the early 1960s, Charles Moore's photos of black protesters being blasted by high-pressure jets of water shocked a nation. The pictures helped rally support for the plight of the blacks and propelled the passage of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Just years after women won the right to vote in 1920, photos and stories of a young pilot named Amelia Earhart began to circle the globe. Earhart's image and groundbreaking achievements in aviation inspired a newly empowered generation of women to raise their expectations and fight for their dreams. And decades later, in 1999, a photo of Brandy Chastain inspired a generation of young women to lace up their sneakers and chase their sports dreams. When asked why she ripped off her jersey after scoring the game-winning goal at the World Cup final, Chastain simply replied, because guys have been doing it for years. Continuing with my research, I found that photos, when paired with words, can greatly increase the power of persuasion. In 1870, a group of explorers searching for the source of the Yellowstone River were so moved by the unique features of the region that they began to lobby Congress to preserve the landscape as a park. The explorers' reports intrigued Congress, but it wasn't until policymakers received William Henry Jackson's stunning photos of the area that they decided they must protect it. In 1872, Yellowstone became the first national park in the world and began a movement in our country that has resulted in over 400 national park service sites. While searching for action-inspiring photos, it didn't take long for me to come across astronaut William Sanders' Earthrise photo. Snapped in 1968 during the Apollo 8 mission, Earthrise inspired contemplation of our fragile existence. Many credit this image with the beginning of the modern-day environmental movement. But of all the photos I found, this next one stuck with me the most. In 1989, Charlie Cole captured one man's act of defiance just hours after the Tiananmen Square massacre in Beijing. To this day, no one knows his name or his fate, but Tank Man gave hope to a billion Chinese and revived the world's image of courage. I also discovered that not all moving photos need to be so imposing. Sometimes the quiet and unassuming ones speak the loudest like this photo of a young, heartbroken Peruvian named Eduardo, captured by William Albert Allard in 1981. The boy's herd of sheep had just been struck by a car and half were killed. As Allard put it, the boy's anguished face tells the story. The publication of the photo in National Geographic drew the sympathy of many readers. With the thousands of dollars donated, the boy's sheep were replaced, a water pump was installed at the local village, and the remaining money went to support Indian school children. I found that in our modern age, the power of social media has revolutionized how images and stories are shared. Brandon Stanton, creator of the popular Humans of New York blog, captured the story of a Syrian refugee known as the scientist, a man who had just lost his home and seven family members in a Syrian government missile attack. 
Stanton posted the scientist's story on Facebook, and it sparked an outpouring of compassion. The blog's 18 million followers raised nearly half a million dollars for the scientist, who was later invited by President Obama to be a guest at his 2016 State of the Union address. Today, the scientist lives with the remaining, his remaining family at his new home in Michigan. After completing my research, I was blown away by what I had found and quickly became a believer in the power of a photo to inspire action. Th this proof that good really could come from a photo motivated me to change how I approach my own picture taking and to try new things like photographing strangers on the street, which led to this photo of my new friend Scratch. I began to think about the people I cared most about and set out to photograph them in a way that captured their true beauty and essence, like this portrait of my young friend Georgia. I wanted viewers to connect with my subjects on a personal level and find commonality in their shared humanity. I was also inspired to rediscover the place where I grew up and examine what it's like to be a small farmer in today's world. I began sharing my photos and impressions on social media and received positive responses from family and friends. It has been a tremendous feeling to share my work and see the small but meaningful changes it has inspired in those around me. So, as we end tonight, I'd like to leave you with a challenge. Go out and take pictures of the things you love and share them with the world. It's never been easier than it is today with the ever-present camera in your pocket and social media app just a few taps away. Do it because you never know what type of good may come from a photo, from a simple photo you care so deeply about. Thanks.